Hello, I'm Darm again. Today's questions are asking what is meant by the term straw manning? Is it gaslighting and how do you manage it? In this video, I'm going to outline what straw manning is, why some people use this tactic and give some common examples of it so that you can recognize it if it's happening to you. And then I'm also going to look at some ideas on how to manage it. So if you like this video, if you find it interesting or helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Just to remind you though, this video is for information purposes only. Now straw manning is the term given whenever someone deliberately, and the key word is deliberately, it's not because of misunderstanding or miscommunication, but deliberately takes something you say or part of what you say, and they twist it, distort it, and phrase it completely out of context. It is exaggerating a point to an extreme degree, if you will, putting words in your mouth that you never said or giving a meaning to something that isn't there. And then that is what they attack you for. They attack you for what they claim you said, not what you actually said. So what kind of people make straw man arguments? Well, sometimes interviewers on television do it. Maybe they think it makes for good TV or something, especially if they're interviewing a controversial or an important public figure. Maybe try to get them to say something specifically or make something sound more controversial than it really is. Internet trolls do it all the time, trying to get someone to explain or justify a point that they never made in the first place. Ideological extremists would use it as a way to discredit their opponents, and some people just do it because maybe they think it makes them look interesting or intellectual. But anybody who's ever argued with a narcissistic person will know that they love chaos and even though they don't like being disagreed with, they do like to argue and they like to win. And they usually win their arguments through a lot of confusion and a lot of misdirection. Straw manning is just one of those misdirection tactics they use to change the point of the argument. They destroy you and they destroy your argument by changing what the argument actually is. So you and your point may be presented as being unreasonable. And if others are present, they have now missed your original, probably quite valid point. Because what they claim you said is now the focus of the argument. So I'm going to give some examples of straw manning arguments to show you a recurring theme that runs through it. So first of all, you might just say something like, I don't think I agree with that. I don't think that's quite right. And they will respond with, so you're saying they're lying. Now, your original point has just been changed and you may have to defend yourself against being accused of calling someone a liar. So you say, no, I don't think they're lying. It's just that I read an article that said something different. To which they would respond with, oh, so you're now an expert. What's your degree in? Are you a lawyer? Are you a scientist? Whatever it is. You're now even further from your original point you're being presented as someone who accuses someone else of lying and also being presented as an unreliable source to have an opinion. Another example could be perhaps in the workplace. You say something like, I think it would be great if this organisation offered more in the way of training. And they respond with, so you say this company doesn't care about your professional development. You, you think they're deliberately trying to hold you back. So now you're maybe defending a company that you didn't insult in the first place. You're saying, no, actually, I like working here. This is a good outfit to work for. So then they might come back with something like, so why are you complaining about not being allowed to do training if the company isn't oppressing you? Now, you never complained about no training. You didn't say you weren't allowed to do any training and you certainly didn't claim to be oppressed. But the more you try to defend your position, the more they twist it, the more they misrepresent your answers until your original point has been lost. It's been forgotten. And you end up both trying to defend the company and try to convince people that you're not malcontent and disruptive. Lastly, you might just say something like, I don't think I can let you borrow any more money. You have not repaid any of the other money that I've let you borrow. And they come back with, you must really hate me. You don't care about me. I'm going to starve. And the aim here is for you to prove that you're not uncaring, you're not selfish, and you do care about them by giving them what they want. Now, in all three cases, what they're doing 
is taking something that sounds unreasonable and attacking that because it's easier for them to destroy something that you would find very difficult to defend or explain. And it can be a very powerful tactic, a tactic to derail any conversation or any point that others make. People end up tying themselves up in knots, trying to defend themselves or explain ludicrous statements away. And it also has everybody else focusing not on what you said, but on what they claim you said. And for the person straw manning, it can be very effective as people tend to get very defensive whenever they're being misrepresented unfairly and sometimes dramatically. So that frustration makes them look even more crazy. You may find yourself in a position where the more you say something, the more they twist it and eventually the argument just goes round in a circle and you are now arguing against your own original point. So is it gaslighting? Well, I would say it's an aspect of gaslighting. Now, gaslighting does involve misdirection, rewriting of narratives and creating confusion. So I think it could be considered a gaslighting tactic, a tactic to put someone on the back foot and to distract others. So how can you handle that? How do you respond when someone is straw man and you will? Some ideas you might want to consider is, first of all, to recognize what they're doing. So Use your discernment. For example, if you hear a phrase like, so what you're saying is, are they paraphrasing what you've just said to show that they've heard and understood? Or are they deliberately misrepresenting you? Now, if it's the latter, and certainly if you feel safe enough, maybe you could just point out you know exactly what they're doing. They are distorting what you've just said. Or you could point out that their argument is fallacious. Ask them to explain why they believe their distorted version. If the argument is just going round in a circle, remind them maybe that the point they have just made is the point you made in the first place. You'll suddenly find them becoming very defensive over starting an argument against something they have just agreed with. But one way or another, recognize the misdirection and don't go down that rabbit hole after them. Try not to become too defensive at their exaggerations. Just restate what you said in the first place. For instance, I said, I can't let you borrow any more money until you start repaying the previous loans and stick to that. Every time they try to take the conversation in a different direction, state the same point again. It may be difficult, especially if there's other people around, but remember, the people will now be focusing on them, not you. Or lastly, you could just ask them, what was it I actually said? Now, when you're asking that, you are giving them the opportunity because they may have just reacted badly, jumped to a conclusion like we all do from time to time. If you give them that moment to think about it, they might calm down a little and maybe you can have a reasonable discussion. But if they just keep on going with further misrepresentations and accusations, just remind them, no, that wasn't it and restate your original point and try to do it in a matter of fact tone of voice. So that's a brief outline of straw manning and some ideas on how to handle it. If there's any ways you respond to that kind of tactic, by all means, please share them in the comment box below. Someone reading it might actually benefit from your advice and your experience. So if you found this video interesting or helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.